Once again, I bring you greetings, people of Goodway. My name is AGK. You're welcome once again to Afrinu's channel. Great thanks to all of you for your support on this very channel. I bring you uh, an update on the security situation about uh, Orlo, in Orlo, and indeed its environs, talking about Emo State. Yes, this is one of the videos released yesterday and uh, if you look at uh, this very video very well, you'll be able to notice that the maker of this very video captured it from afar and of course, um, it is not advisable for anybody to capture the activities or the oppressions of the unknown government unless you know you can do that from a safe distance. Yes, if you look at it very well right now, you see a checkpoint, a military checkpoint at that very uh, junction right now and you see some people that have a kind of stri white uh, stripe at the back or on their body on the clothes they are wearing those are unknown government so it appears that um, they shot a soldier and uh, I want to believe they must have um, you know deleted some of the soldiers inside the vehicle or dispersed other ones because if you Check it very well. If you observe what is happening there very well, you know that the soldiers have either run away or been shot. And they are now taking over their vehicle, their van. As they just take it over now, they just zoom out. So this is one of the operations that uh, happened. I've made a series of videos on this, including where they had a gun battle, a fierce one. And there are some I couldn't post here, but if you go through those videos, the ones that I could not uh, uh, add to the video, I normally put under um, the video a link that will take you to our Facebook uh, account or our Facebook page rather, where you'll be able to watch it because of the YouTube community guidelines. So, now what does this tell you? What does this whole lot of things tell you? It tells you that all these fabrications of um, stories and lies by the zoo media and uh, their government and military, or should I say security, entire security arms, is just nothing but a force. Fabricating lies of the continued arrest of the people um, purported or alleged to be unknown government and their leaders or sponsors. Now, one would have thought that with the, with the spirit of the arrest so far, you know, much publicized arrest of the sponsors of the unknown government and their personnel. So also, one would have expected that this would have come down a bit to the barest minimum, but not. Um, what actually happened was that there was a kind of um, a recess that went on break after Uzodema ran away to Abuja, and they gave him some time to do what he wanted to do. Now. They have uh, incurred the wrath of the people again because as soon as them came back, he went and procured more ginger weed uh, elements from Abuja to come and be guiding him and thereby terrorizing the innocent people, the vulnerable, peaceful people going about their normal businesses. You, you've seen, you know, um, reports of houses being burned down, people being arrested, you know, it indiscriminate arrests of people and secret abductions of um, people because it's not like the every town people now they now assume that nine out of ten people nine out of every ten people now must be members of uh, POB or must be beer front supporters or you know sympathizers uh, that kind of a thing that's why they're just doing all that they're doing now. The Avengers of the people and the justice dispensers have said enough is enough and they are now out to protect the innocent and defend the vulnerable. I tell you something, it is only in Americano, although I know that he's just taking his time to make sure that everything is put in place so that there will be no mistake. Any day he gives order, all these criminal elements masquerading as soldiers and you know their cohorts on our streets will be marched down. You see the way they lost to their vehicle, that van, to an government, very, very soon, very, very imminently. When the order comes, all those there are tools, all those there are all those there are tools they are using to terrorize people and terrorize our communities and villages and towns. All of them will become us, including their vehicles and everything they have. So it doesn't matter 
whatever thing they bring to use against us we shall use the same against them now the apc armored personal carrier or armored personal tanker armored tanker one of the armored tankers they brought to our law you're going to see the video i actually covered it if you want to see it um you know playing the way it burnt you click the link below so that you go to facebook and watch it clearly but i had to cover this one because of uh, youtube to avoid strike um they burnt it on non government and uh, angry youth actually did needful they did a needful and they did what they're supposed to do against it and you know they know they actually know what we can do all this show of shame they are just showing is just a waste of time they just announced that um they killed 11 of um hoodlums or, or non-government according to them that's how they've been going about lying all the lies they've been lying how far how far since don't mind all the other things are concocted lies my heart goes to the innocent people that uh, they are perhaps molesting and um, causing to lose their lives. Now, what does all these things tell you? The security situation in this country is deteriorating day by day. In fact, minute by minute. And instead of the people that you call your security people, your security personnel, the security operatives of the country to focus on combating terrorism and banditry and making sure that they bring it to the barest minimum. They are rather playing on charant attitudes, playing on street game. They are rather battling on how to keep Nigeria one. Now, and the more they battle on how to keep Nigeria one, the more the same Nigeria seems to be breaking apart. They are now pursuing rad, pursuing those whose job is to stop the incursion of the Fulani terrorists and the Maroodas from the Sahara. I mean, ESL is not against anybody. They started by pursuing ESL from nowhere or non-government came and started attacking them and they are not even focusing on the ESN if they want to focus on attacking the ESN or fighting the ESN let them go inside the bush but this one is that they are in our street going about in our streets and communities and towns arresting people molesting people burning down houses and, and committing all sorts of uh, arson look at Abuja look at what's happening in Niger State less than two hours from Niger State to Abuja the bandits, uh, Boko Haram rather, have taken over the whole of uh, Niger State. And it seems is not bothering the people in Asurok to do something to uh, forestall their Abuja takeover. And all these things don't even teach the people in Asurok anything. All they focus is to just keep Nigeria one. They don't even think if they wake up tomorrow and see no Nigeria again to keep one. You have to think about how to survive and see tomorrow before you think about what to lay hold on tomorrow. Please do where to subscribe to our channel. Please help us to hit 1K. And may Elohim bless you. Don't forget to drop your comments and give us a like. Thank you. Now the video of the burning down of the zoo military armored yeah, personal well, tanker. No, if you need the raw video, click the link below and watch it on our Facebook page. Well, you hold the I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house.